higher damage to the next auto attack. So there's a bit of a um, self control regarding using that unit. Yeah, that's cur currently being mod modeled right now. So do those, does, it, is the, does the concept of, of um, what, I don't forget what it's called in RTS, where a unit is basically will always attack units, when, uh, enemies when they see it, does that, how do you deal with that with a character like that where it's more strategic in the use? It's just a bit more of a micro well, you, like, you press the button, like, don't shoot people yet, or like keep them away from the fight until like you charge it up, and then bring it back into the game. Interesting all the play that because if you have a lot of action going on, even with your small unit count, you make it frustrated that that unit's power power is like always going to check on the unit. Uh, it also has the uh, your other design things. Are, you're always talking about how you don't want people sort of bogged down by the RTS. That's part of your goal. So, so basically, it's going to it's going to have. Um, a bit of a power spike, but in general, if I'm a new player, I'm not really going to worry about that. Kind of Fair enough. Oh. One, of, one of the things when we played Tesla was some of the fights weren't interesting enough and you weren't doing enough things. So yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, do yeah. help you. That's true, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Brian, one of the things I've noticed in the design is that you have a lot of top heavy units, which is fine. You have the style that's ready for you. Since you're seeing it from an isometric point of view, yeah. How are you dealing with being able to, you know, kind of take advantage, you know, like being able to see what the character actually looks like? Um, well, because when you see it from that point of view, it really either exaggerates the top tickiness of it, or you sort of don't see the bottom of the unit. It would depend on the, like, um, unit to so, like, conductor, for example. Uh, it's got, like, that weird diamond yeah. shape, generally speaking. Yeah. So then it's sort of puts <laughs> the animation to see what you're doing, for sure. Okay. Like, it'll animate into, like, an, like, like a slant in position. Like and something like the sword, which is like the four arms, Shiva, Beth, uh, for example. I mean, that, your intention, the silhouette is going to be four arms and kind of big body. The legs are kind of things. Like they're there, but we don't have to put a lot of light on density in this video. Okay. Uh, to know quickly about this, this is a art pipeline test I'm running through to figure out if there's a way for us to bypass the brush. Get the same quality of the game. Something like this, she's so. So Rosier, the revolver, our next uh, Teutonic commander. For her, still what's mostly going to be her. Um, it's right now it's like white hands with a whalebone dress. So it's like a huge cannon, a whalebone dress, and then her huge um, drill and um, I guess it just depends on the character. You know? And we're always, of course, thinking about how strong is the silhouette from top to bottom. Right. Even though, of course, the artists would tend to draw like that usually. Like final renders are isometric views, just so we verify that this looks good roughly in game. I hope. Also, the size eight like, looks like different. Yeah. Like, really small, whereas, like, the smaller like, is like the smaller is like the size. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Something to watch out for. Something to watch out for. Yep. Uh, We're trying to test. Do you guys have any more questions? So, as a wrap up, um, we're almost done with our first two right now that came on Sunday. Okay. Um, and then basically, we're going to have our second two and we're going to go through really fast. On the engineering side, we're trying to get the game playable as quickly as possible. Um, on the design side, we're still kind of trying to get that secret sauce so that everybody kind of feels good while we're concept of units and kind of push through and dive into various aspects of design. Um, and on the art side, we're just still going through character pipelines and environment pipelines and, and stuff like that. Constantly recruiting, yes. We're, we're bleeding and getting yeah. people at the same time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the usual, as it were. Yeah, that's me on credit list at the end. Yeah. All right, awesome. That's a lot. Yeah, we're good at the world now. <laughs> <laughs>